For two weeks, I'll be here on Boom Lake in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, working out of my ice shack and talking about the fishing, the life, and the culture around ice fishing here in northern Wisconsin. The Snake Chaser, my ice shack, began its life as a 1971 Trailblazer Tenderfoot camper trailer. We got it in uh, maybe late 2011. On the outside, it's largely as we got it. Aside from, we, we've got the musky up top, letting people know what we're all about. Uh, the musky actually is not a fish we caught. My buddy Brian, who fishes with us sometimes, uh, lives completely out in the middle of nowhere in the woods and he doesn't really have any close neighbors and his dog one day dragged that fish mounted already into his yard. No idea where it came from and he brought it out here and that's where it rests now. Lots of windows, good view outside. Uh, keep your tools for catching northerns right there. Hook gorge and a jaw spreaders. Uh, see right there, we call it the snake chaser. If you're not familiar with northerns and small ones like we catch a lot of the time, people call them snakes because they're long and skinny. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a joke on ourselves, but we started calling it that one day and it just stuck. Spare that hasn't had air in it, I don't think ever. Guy who had it this before us still use it as a camper and put a sweet, incredible halt green paint job on the rims. Um, we usually don't ever have a generator out here. The first time we've ever had any power running to this was it was really just last week when I started working out here and I needed that in the afternoons to recharge my laptop. Oh, fire pit. Can't build a fire on the ice. It used to be able to, you know, long ago you could do that, but it's a mess. So, um, you know, we have that. You see my orange soda, Fanta, in the snow, getting nice and cold. Uh, orange soda is a little part of ice fishing to me. Security, we got a combo lock. You can put big locks in it, but that just means if someone really wants to get in, they got that much more to destroy on their way through and you know that much more of a mess for you. So you've seen the outside, let's see the inside. The heart of the shack. Originally a 16 foot camper. Um, we took out a lot of the stuff. There was some sort of closet here. Uh, there was a big bunk set up here that we actually slept in a time or two out on the ice. But um, we took all that out. We put in benching all the way around it. Um, Modified the table a bit so it fit better for guys in here and in you know heavy gear in the winter We've got a few propane heaters a little one down here uh, a big one up here that we sometimes move over there Usually after you've been out here for a little while. It's 80 degrees in here. This is the one completely intact Original block of, the, of this camper right now drawers and doors um, Cooking stuff up above we use the oven a lot having an oven in here is awesome You know on a weekend day if you're sitting out here all day It's nice to be able to cook something to eat you see the walls all the way around covered the milestones as it were We, we record you know dumb things people say fish people caught you know we keep kind of a running track of that decor a bit of everything an Iron Maiden poster that was on my bedroom door for many years Gene Simmons the Boz I mean who didn't love the Boz you can see out pretty much in all directions have a pretty good view of the ice your tip-ups recyclables and garbage it's a nice setup you know it's it's pretty standard in your home not necessarily in your ice shack there's not a day that um, people come out here to fish there aren't some onions it's a fine snack I don't know what kind of onions they use to make them but they're damn good we're from Wisconsin. We're Packers fans. Bart Starr signed a little something for us, you know, for the shack. He wanted to be a part of it. Little LED bulbs hanging in here um, and a lantern back there. And it, we have all the light we need when we're out here at night. None of us are really country music fans, but the only thing we really listen to in here is uh, classic country. Whining steel guitars. It comes out of that tiny little generic speaker on that radio and it's, uh, it's music to our hearts. Reminds me of the radio in my mom's store when I was a kid. I love it. Old style, I mean, what can you say? The croisoning is, croisoning is a big thing when you're ice fishing. Um, it can do a lot for you. And that's, that's the inside of my shack. It's a nice place to be.